Walkabout as Guide to Australia, or whatever we end up calling this thing. Canberra. Um, this is the most exciting place on the continent. Um, the current Prime Minister is Julia Gillard. Uh, there will be no carbon tax under the government I lead. And she beat Toby Abbott. I also think that if you want to put a price on carbon, uh, why not just do it with a simple tax? At the last federal election. But the very first Prime Minister was Edmund Barton. He was like our George Washington only better in every single way. Yep, I said it. Wait, you don't believe me? Look. Cast your mind back to good old 1901. Scotland Yard had just created a fingerprint file. Too late for Jack the Ripper, too early for Pop Art. Paris got the first public telephones. Uh, wee oui, wee. Oui. And Walt Disney was born. Paris then got the first pay toilets. Why toilets would pay to be defecated on, I don't know. And Australia was made up of six separate British colonies tied to Mother England by shoelaces of oppression. But soon a fellow would come along to untie the lace shackles. Edmund Barton, a stay-at-home mum, was getting mighty sick of it. The shackles, not the stay-at-home mum thing. He was bothered that his kids were being drafted by Britain to fight in the Boer War. In the hope of getting England off his back, Edmund travelled to England to assassinate Queen Victoria. He found Her Majesty on the Isle of Wight and on the throne. But as he drew his dagger, she shot him. A smile. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, someday you am gonna make her mine. After making her his, they drew up the Constitution of Australia, creating a federation of six states, leaving the Queen as a figurehead, but cutting all political ties. The next day, Edmund Barton went home, knighted, to his family with a high heart, knowing Australians wouldn't follow Britain to another war, ever, except World War I and World War II. In need of a Prime Minister, Edmund Barden was elected because of his courage, charm, but mostly because of his connections with Freemasonry, the underground cult that worships the return of Jabulun, the Old Testament beast who will one day devour us all. Or so they say. And although Edmund Barden never governed from this new Parliament House, some of his belongings are on display in there, in lock cabinets, like this hat. Loyal blue hat. I'm sure Edmund wouldn't mind. Well, ready to continue our walkabout? <laughs>